Good evening, everybody. It's Miss Dolores from Baldwin Borough Public Library. I wanted to uh, tell you that this week is our last week of evening story time for the spring session. So um, we'll be doing story time tonight and on Thursday night, and then we're going to take a little break and we're going to come back for our summer programming and the story times will start on June 16th and it will still be Tuesday and Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. So tonight we're going to do music and dance and those will be our th that will be our theme for tonight and we'll do some drumming and we'll do some stories about dance and then we'll have a fun dance to do ourselves. So we're going to start out with our hello song. Are you ready? So hello and then friends. All right, here we go. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. One more time. Are you ready? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, my friends. All right, so what I'm gonna need from you is to get um, your two wooden spoons or anything that tap together and something that you can bang your sticks on. So I'm just gonna show you what I have. So I have my two um, wooden spoons like we always have when we do tapping or drumming. And then I just have this toy drum that's my granddaughter's that's here at my house. And I'm just gonna use that, but you can get any toy that you have or anything that's plastic, make sure it's plastic, so we can bang on it. And we're gonna get ready to do um, a drumming song. All right, here we go with our sticks. Are you ready? Get a drumming surface and play do you along have your with drumming your hands, surface, drumsticks, or even chopsticks. Here we go. This is the way we play. Our drums play our drums play our drums this is the way we play our drums so early in the morning so ready I can play my drums very soft softly ready stop I can play my drum very loudly I can play my drum very slowly. slowly. Stop. I can play my drum very fast. Fast. Oh, it's super fast. Stop. Your Stop. pointer fingers on each right, hand so you can, either can use be your, your pointer tapping fingers drumsticks. Or you can have Gently your sticks tap again. Along. Are you ready? Here we go. Tap a drum, tap a drum, tap, tap, tap. Tap a drum, tap a drum, tap, tap, tap. Tap a drum, tap a drum, tap, tap, tap. Tap a drum, tap a drum. Bang a drum. Bang a drum. Bang a drum, bang a drum, bang, bang. Job, my friends. Our first story tonight is called Dance, Dance, Dance. It's one of my favorite books and it's written by Ethan Long and it's a story about a horse and a bug. The horse, as you can see, loves to dance. The bug, not so much. So we'll see what happens if the bug decides that he likes to dance too. Dance, Dance, Dance by Ethan Long. The bug says, what are you doing? And the horse says, I am dancing. I am the best dancer. I have the best dances. All right, he really, really, really loves to dance. Remember, the bug 
not so much. I do not hear any music, says the bug. But the horse continues to dance. The music is in my mind, said the horse. Look at his silly dance moves. Is he awesome? You are not dancing. You're just moving around. Now he has a rose in his mouth. Look at his silly dance move. And the bug says, you're not dancing. You're just moving around. Now you are kicking. And now you look like a robot. This dance is called the robot dance. All right, so he's doing all kinds of different dances. But he doesn't have any music on. He's just making it up in his head. Come on, dance with me. Not now. Please. I just ate. All right. He's trying to get the bug to dance, but he doesn't want to. He's giving some excuses why he's not going to dance. And the horse says, you can't dance. Yes, I can dance, said the bug. Not everyone can dance, and that's okay. Now the bug's like, hmm. I bet I can dance. Do you think he's going to give it a try? Let's see. I can dance. I have the best dances. I just can't think of any now. You can't dance, said the horse. Do you think he can really dance? Do you think he's just like maybe a little embarrassed to dance? So then he starts moving around in all these different dance moves. And he says, there, I danced. Are you happy now? And the horse says, I am not happy because you are not happy. All right, see his dance moves up here? He was doing all those buggy dance moves. And he says, there, I danced. Are you happy? And the horse brings out uh, CD player and he says here try this and he puts on some music and he hits the button and the bug says wow what a fun song I think the bug likes to hear the music and the horse says so turn off the frown and start getting down and the bug says horse? What question do you think he has to ask the horse? What are you doing? And the horse says, uh, I'm resting. All that dancing tired me out. Oh no, the horse has to take a rest. Too much dancing. It's a fun story. I bet you the bug is going to do more dancing now that he's confident in dancing. So we're going to do a fun dance song and I hope you'll join along with me. So our song is called, Have You Seen the Trampoline? So you might have a trampoline at your house. What do you do on a trampoline? Absolutely. You jump. Can you practice jumping? All right. So we're going to listen for the music and he's going to ask, have you seen the trampoline? The song is by Jim Gill and it's a fun, fun song. And then when we're done jumping, we're going to look for the trampoline. All right, are you ready? Let me get our song on. Are you ready? Here we go. Have you seen the trampoline? The trampoline. Please look around. Look around. Look what we found. Look what we found. Ready? Jump on the trampoline. Some more. some more. It's on the floor. It's on the floor. Ready? Stop. Have you seen the trampoline? 
It's gone and then. It's gone and then. It's back again. It's back again. Hard to lose. It's hard to lose. It's in our shoes. It's in your shoes, ready? Can you get quiet? Go down like this. You were amazing. Great job. I hope you enjoyed our fun dance together. Thanks for joining in with me. So we're gonna get ready for our last story tonight. It is called Groovy Joe's Dance Party Countdown. And it is about a dog who loves music. And then there are knocks at the door and we'll see who joins him for his party. All right, are you ready? Groovy Joe's Dance Party Countdown. It is written by Eric Litwin. Groovy Joe is totally fun. He's a song singing, tail wagging party of one. And he rocks like this. Okay, what instrument is he playing? Do you know what that is? That's right, it is a guitar. Maybe you play guitar, or someone in your family plays a guitar. And then he sings like this. A disco party, bow wow, disco party, bow wow. Can you sing that with me? A disco party, bow wow, disco party, bow wow. Okay, look at him dance. Can you make a dance move like that? Oh, that is an awesome dance move. When all of a sudden, there's a knock at the door. Who's there? One. One who? All right, who do you think it is? He thinks at the door. One more dog is going to disco with you. All right, there was one dog and then one more. How many dogs do we have now? Two dogs, that's right. Two dogs in the room means less space for Joe. But does Joe get upset? Do you think he's upset because there's another dog there? Oh, I don't think so, look. He looks really happy. Oh, do you know what this instrument is? Right here, the dog is playing that joined him. It's a tuba, a tuba. Maybe somebody in your family plays a tuba. Goodness, no, he just keeps rocking. Disco party, bow wow, disco party, bow wow. All right, there they are. They're playing their music together. They are so happy. What do you think is gonna happen? You guessed it, when knock on the door. Who's there? Two, two who? All right, there was two, and now there's gonna be two more. So how many all together? How many dogs will there be? Four, there'll be four dogs, wow. Two more dogs are going to disco with you. How many dogs are there now? All right, so we said four dogs, and you can see they're gonna start forming a band. Won't that be fun? Goodness, no, Joe's not upset. He keeps on rocking. Ready to sing? Disco party, bow wow, disco party, bow wow. All right, look how happy they are. They're playing. I see the tuba and the drums, and the saxophone, and the guitar. Do you think that would sound great together? That would be awesome. When all of a sudden, who's there? Four, four who? All right, they had four, and now they're about to get four more. So how many is that? Four and four more make, that's right, eight. Eight dogs, wow. Four more dogs are going to disco with you. How many dogs are there now? What did we say, how many? That's right, eight dogs. Wow, that's a lot of dogs. Here's the number eight. 
eight dogs in the room means less space for Joe. Do you think Joe gets upset? I don't think so, right? Look at them having such a great time with their band. Well, they can really make some awesome sounds now with all those musical instruments. There's a flute, there's a violin, there's a cello, there's another electric guitar. I'll give you a chance to see all the instruments that they're playing. Goodness, no, Joe's not upset. He keeps on rocking, ready to sing? Disco party, bow wow, disco party, bow wow, wow. Look at them playing. They are really having a good time together. All right, so there's eight dogs now. This party is rocking. They're packed on the floor. But Groovy Joe says there's room for one more. Who could it be? All right, there were four dogs and four dogs. That made eight dogs. But then if we add another dog, that would be nine. Maybe not dogs. Let's see. Who could it be? Who's there? Joe invited. Joe invited who? Who do you think Joe invited to join them to make music? Joe invited you to come along to the party. You are invited to a disco party at Joe's house. Now bring your dancing shoes. Are you ready to boogie? Do you want to have fun? This story is ending, but the party has just begun. Did you like that story? That is a really fun story about dancing and you can continue the dancing at your house long after story time is over or anytime. So we're gonna end our story time tonight with our goodbye song and then we will see you back here on Thursday at seven. Are you ready to sing? All right. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Wave your hands and blink your eyes. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, my friends. I will see you back here on Thursday night at seven o'clock. Hope you have a good rest of your evening and a great Wednesday.